If you are new to this channel, hello, I'm Karma. If you are not new, hi, baby. I know it's been a very, very long time since I posted on here. The last time I posted, it was my intro. And I feel like there is something that I really want to talk about. I know I said in my first intro that my next video should be like a K-Talk. If you don't know what a K-Talk is, I talked about it in my intro, so you should really check that out. But I'm sorry if I seem kind of out of breath. I'm just really overweight. But anyways, um, yeah, I feel like there's a few things that I really want to talk about. It's not really going to be a K-Talk. It's just kind of like a me to you type of thing. So... I hope you guys stick it through and actually really listen and take in what I'm saying because I feel like this is something really important that I really need to say because I really feel like in my intro there were some things that I should have said that I really didn't or things that I should have clarified that may seem kind of weird or I don't know it's like the more that I really thought about it it was like there were certain things that I should have saved or certain things that I actually should have said, you know, but let's just get into it. So one thing that I really want to talk about is in my intro, I said that I am a messenger, you know, from I'm that person that's in between heaven and earth, which is something that I do firmly believe in because I do receive messages i do hear certain messages when i'm doing things like doing a reading on myself i actually said i read out like what the cards mean and i'll kind of talk to myself about it and in my head i'll get like certain words or i'll probably get like a whole sentence or i'll just hear certain things about one card and that's just like what i feel like is a message from my gods telling me what i need to hear so I wanted to clarify that because I wasn't trying to make it seem like I'm not on no, you know, I'm special or, you know, I have some grand power or I, um, I don't know. I just wanted to make it clear that when I say that, I mean it as in like, I receive messages from my guys and I could also, whenever... I do post videos of me doing readings. I can also get your guys in there too. I can do a meditation over the cards just to see if I can get clear messages for everyone. Now, I don't know how soon I'll post a, a tarot reading because like I said, I'm not no expert. I'm learning how to do all of this. You feel me? I'm learning everything as I go. And I want to post tarot readings as my learner's point of view because i know certain people are getting into this and they want to learn how to do it too so we can all learn this together like i'm on this channel not to be a leader that's second <laughs> i'm not here to be a leader you feel me i'm here as one of you i'm just like everyone else but i just feel like as a team player i want to push I want to push myself and I want to push y'all to do the things that y'all always wanted to do. I want to push people to go for their dreams because people scare you out of that. They try to tell you like it's wrong to go for what you want. You know, it's like um, like your head in the clouds for dreaming about certain things and thinking that you're going to achieve it. But you can be. There's a quote that's in my head. You can't be like that dreamer who does. That person who got their head in the clouds and their feet firmly on the ground. And that's what I am too. Because I refuse to let somebody tell me that my head is too far in the clouds and I can't do what I really want to do in life. I'm, I don't know about y'all, but I do not want to be that person 
because I see it all the time. I don't want to be that person who comes home from a job and they're just like, I hate my job. Like they just talk about everything that they hate about their job, everything about they like what they hate about their current situation or how their life is currently going. But did you not know that you could change that yourself? Did you not know that you can actually put your time and interest into something better, into something greater that isn't some BS nine to five job or some BS job that you don't want to be at? Like seriously, honestly, like I know y'all see people starting businesses and doing all these grand things for themselves. And some people will probably look at them and be envious, like, mm, or other people would be congratulating them and not doing it for themselves. Like, why not do it for yourself? Why not turn it within and just do it? You feel me? What do you have to lose? You feel me? Because I feel like at this point in my life, I've came to a point where I've lost a lot. I've lost damn near everything. And now I'm still here. And now I just feel like I'm at that point where it's like, okay, I've been through loss. So what do I have to lose? I've lost it before. You know, I can regain it again. Just keep going. Keep rolling with the punches and keep moving forward. Strive. Like, that's the main message that I want to get out is to strive. Be in the present moment. A lot of people, that's the three. I, I keep on skipping the numbers because my head is just going. Like, the words in my head are just coming out of me because I've been wanting to say this for a long time. And I don't know what was holding me back, but it was just like, wait, wait. It's not the time. Just wait. Just wait. But now I feel like, fuck waiting. And like, I'm sorry about the cursing, but... Fuck waiting. Go for it right now. Be in the present. A lot of people like to worry about the future and dwell on the past. But what about the present? Like the present, you can change whatever. The past no longer exists. That shit is trash now. It's gone. You can't get it back. So you can change the present. The future, don't even worry about that. You're going to be good as long as what you're doing in the present. The presence. In the present is what you want to do. Then your future will be filled with nothing but greatness. I just want to get that out there and let it be known like this is how we could change we can't change the whole world like we want but we could change within ourselves you feel me and for i don't know about everybody else and i know it might sound kind of controversial or whatever to me feeling like you know the messenger between between but i feel like heaven can be here heaven can be on earth i am one of the believers that we will have heaven on earth like before i leave i will see heaven on earth and that's i'm standing on that because i feel like heaven on earth is all of us no longer living through hatred no longer living through these, I don't even know how to like describe it. Like these lives that you feel like you want to escape. You feel like you have to survive. Like so many people just live off survival mode that they don't even live. Surviving and living is two different things. I don't want to survive. I've survived plenty of like I've survived plenty of times. I've survived, but I never lived. I don't want to survive anymore. I want to live. And if you want to live, then let's live. Let's do this together. Let's do it. If you want to survive, I mean, you're strong enough for it. I believe you are. But why just survive when there's so much more? There's so much greater. You know? But uh, while I was offline, while I wasn't posting anything, I still was recording. Like I said in my intro, I did want to do a um, K-Talk, and I actually did one. I just didn't post it because I was so self-critical watching it that I really ignored the message that I was putting out there because I was so worried about like how I was looking and I was outside in the video so I was worried about all the background noises and everything that was going on on around me and it was like I was so focused on that that I didn't really pay attention to my own message pay attention to what I wanted to get out there 
So I will be posting that as well. I'll probably be posting these together. But I really felt like I needed to sit and have this talk because after having this break of having to go within, having to be with myself, having to not get to know myself, but get to know what message that I want to put out there, get to know what type of image do I want people to see me as, you know? Like, I don't want people to just see me as anything but myself, anything but authentic or true to myself, because that's what I want everyone else to do. I want you to be authentic. I want you to be yourself. I want you to live your dream. I want you to do everything that you've ever imagined. You know, it's like making a bucket list right now and just doing it all. Like you gonna die tomorrow, even though you're not. Or you might never know. But we all need to start living life like Larry because cause living boring lives just surviving it won't make you fulfilled living for money you won't feel fulfilled at all you know living for just material things you won't feel fulfilled just being safe staying in this little safe bubble like not taking any risk you won't feel fulfilled you might this is not for everybody some people may feel fulfilled in their safe lives i'm not telling you to change your whole life because of what i'm saying i'm not a therapist i'm not licensed for nothing you feel me i'm just speaking out of the heart i'm just speaking my truth speaking when i feel like what needs to also be brought out into the world because it's being brought out but the people who are speaking this out who the people are putting this into the universe putting this out into the open they're not getting recognized they're not being heard and i hear them so i want to put my voice out there too i want to be heard too so i hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you go watch my K talk that I'm about to post. And if you haven't watched my intro, go ahead and watch that as well. But I'm really glad that I actually did this video and I actually stopped to talk to you guys because it was really much needed. And I'm pretty sure the words wasn't going to start running through my head until I actually did it. So I hope y'all have a lovely, lovely, lovely day, night, whenever you're watching. Just know that you are loved, you are beautiful, and you are definitely worthy. Bye.